I'm Baba from Nonos. It's only when we opened that we, we, we didn't realize the, um, the sound. Like, I felt like we were shouting. <laughs> To talk to someone, I'd always say like what? Like or if we had meetings here, we wouldn't do it during lunchtime because we felt like we won't be able to hear each other. So it became a problem. Um, I decided, you know what, let's try it out because um, it disrupts what we're trying to aim for, which is to have like a nice lunch, have a nice business meeting, talk to your family and we really needed to do something about it. I think a lot of establishments, you don't really consider the acoustics when you're building your restaurant. What I like about this, it's wide. It's the design, it doesn't look bad. It kind of blends in with everything. One thing that Marty did tell me about it is like, we could actually print on it. So it could be artwork. We always have artwork in our stores. So, I mean, that's what I like about it. it it can be stylish, I guess you can say. <laughs> now it's not uncomfortable. You can hear what the other person's saying. Um, it's not uncomfortable to have meetings. Um, I think it's like really, it's performing well. As restaurant owners, we tend to forget how important it is to have good acoustics in your restaurant. It's something that people should really consider in their designs in the, before they even like, start construction. And what I really like about it is that you can really incorporate prime acoustics with your restaurant design. Yeah, it won't be an eyesore, so I highly recommend it. I'm Baba from Nonos, and I recommend prime acoustics.